Hey guys, Greg with BTOD TV and BTOD.com. In today's weight capacity comparison, we're taking a closer look at the VertDesk V3 Plus and comparing it to FlexiSpot's EC1 electric standing desk. If you haven't had a chance to watch these videos before, we like to look at three specific weights, comparing each desk's performance with those weights applied to the surface. In this video, we'll be looking at a 100 pound capacity, then maxing out the FlexiSpot EC1 at 187 pounds, and then last, we'll be maxing out the VertDesk V3 Plus at 450 pounds, allowing you to see how each desk performs again through these comparisons. With that, let's go ahead and get started with the first test. Before we start the first test, let's talk about a couple things. Number one being the setup. As you can see, each desk does have two cinder blocks, smaller dumbbells, and the weight of the surface to get to that first 100 pound capacity. What you'll want to look for during this test. We'll start at the same sitting height and at the same standing height. See how the desks perform, especially as we apply more weight to each of the surfaces. With that, let's go ahead and get started with this first test, 100 pound capacity comparison. One thing we want to talk about just real quick before I start is that the FlexiSpot EC1 does just have an up and down switch, so I'll actually have to hold that one. The VertDesk V3 Plus comes with a one touch option, and so we were able to press and release and allow that desk to move up on its own. With that, let's go ahead and see how each desk compares here with the first test. For our second test, we'll be maxing out the first desk, the FlexiSpot EC1. This again has a max capacity of 187 pounds. We've also got the VertDesk V3 Plus set to that same weight. Let's go ahead and see how each desk performs. For our final test, we'll be maxing out the VertDesk V3 Plus. This comes with a max capacity of 450 pounds. We've also got the FlexiSpot at the same 187 mark. What we're gonna do is a max versus max. So we've talked about this in previous videos, but we don't wanna be intentionally overloading these desks. Now through testing, we do find out if a desk has overload protection, as this is important, since you will be looking to run these desks near capacity, or if you are, you wanna know if you're exceeding the capacity because this can potentially void a warranty. The FlexiSpot EC1 does not have overload capacity. The VertDesk V3 Plus does have it. So we're gonna keep them at max versus max, but it'll give you an idea on how each performs at their max capacity. With that, let's go ahead and see how 450 shakes up against 187 on the FlexiSpot EC1. Hopefully this weight capacity comparison of the VertDesk V3 Plus versus the FlexiSpot EC1 gave you a better idea on how each desk is going to perform with the various weights that we tested here today. Through testing, you can see that the VertDesk V3 Plus is clearly the more consistent product and can lift a significant amount more than that of the FlexiSpot EC1, which is gonna be right for you. Again, it's gonna be dependent on what your needs are specifically for your next standing desk. But hopefully you found this video helpful if you did hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got a ton of these coming out here in the near future. Thanks a lot for watching.